Welcome to part 2 of this two-part experiment where we watch the AI play and this time it will be quicker for me to find what I, I want to look at and this is uh, Eric Preston's uh, starting location and we will he was wiped out relatively soon the last time and we will see uh, if he does the same uh, here we notice the first difference the AI first uh, builds grows for a couple of turns now it's uh, building a colonizer, uh, not a colonizer um, what is it called? a former what? this looked strange This looked really strange, like it uh, cued what it built there. Uh, he snipes these units before they become aggressive. This is not very smart. Okay, this guy died. But he is using uh, units with flamethrowers right away, since that's more effective. He's losing some. Oh, why did this guy die? This uh, looked weird. He's pulling out his troops out of the city. It's not like uh, he has no problems with the aliens, but it seems he is doing a little better. He now also attacks while under siege by these units because he has to attack, he's kind of forced. And here he sends a lone colonizer. Not that good of an idea. He sends it into the water. He doesn't found a city, maybe because he feels it's not safe. So he runs around with the colonizer. And now he actually brought it back to his capital. Now he's trying again. Still losing units.
tax rate is adjusted. We grew a forest here to reduce pollution. Something he couldn't uh, think of before. Nah, that's not good. I think this version is not like I want it to be. But he builds... Uh, maybe it is okay. Uh, seeing how uh, high the deficit in habitat was. He still hasn't found a second city. And uh, now he did, but this city I don't think he it will hold. But maybe this alien is not aggressive yet. Yeah, uh, apparently it is not. Now uh, this doesn't look safe. This location still is quite hard uh, for the AI to deal with. Now these are aggressive. And it's getting tense. The city is uh, without defenses. There's a new defender. Okay, it held barely. Terra Salvum and its uh, mechanization error. I think no one was this fast last time. They are really struggling with this location with so many hives around. Now let's check their research progress. Generating quite a lot of research. And now they switch to getting more formers. What will he build? Once again, a habitat, not the best on this location. He should build habitats elsewhere and there get a mine there. Uh, Prime Minister C declared war on Hyde. But I will watch those guys. Maybe they will get wiped out after all. Yeah, the location looks good from the surrounding tiles, but it's terrible uh, with all the aliens around and being the only one to have to fight the aliens from this island. The city uh, over there actually still is alive. Uh, 
And they are getting shelled, but now they kill the alien. Good. This really is not ideal. I think this is a misconsideration. They think the priority should be high because the result is good, but Still fighting aliens. Oh, now uh, there's a visitor from Terra Salvum. I think I will have to do this test again because it looks too bugged. Oh, Guardian here declared war on Vermilion. The same thing happened last game, but a bit earlier. Yeah, he's really spamming habitats now. I'm getting a puri purifier. No, now he gets a mine, which is the right thing to do on a mountain. And he gets purifier elsewhere. This also is a mine. And a mine again. So I think it is working as intended, but it looked a little weird. Now he has stabilized his economy. He got uh, most of the buildings, and the city looks good with uh, habitat uh, and pollution kept in check by building the appropriate buildings and tile improvements. Uh, but this looks bad. Let's see, are they at war? Nope. This is just a coincidence. So at first uh, 
Civilizations enter the third area era. Terra Salvum and Ambassadors. I think no one no they reached the second era at the end of the last one. Solar Dynasty got a nuclear launch center. And it seems like they have survived their alien onslaught and are getting back up here. And now the Messari will come. Let's see if the civilizations here fare a little better. Well, their troops are quite primitive, I have to say. Really? Don't they have something better? Hmm. I might have screwed up research. They are researching really far ahead, but they skip quite a lot. Now they can... they have to spam the cheap troops. Well, they will die to AoE. And now they get their area pillaged. doesn't look good maybe something similar to last time will happen now they have a little bit better troops here At least they can spam them quite quickly. Where are they going? Uh, they might want to take down this portal. Now they are spamming a lot of units. Now they are getting a tank. And the city probably also is producing something boat whoops black hole generator by the ambassadors in turn 234 now they got a mine over here now everyone declares war on interesting Their research pattern is a little bit weird. 
but this is the last uh, ditch change that I did. Uh, so they research technologies. Uh, they they don't really want to research technologies that are only one turn. But I might have to think about uh, this again. The way it seems to work is a little weird. This. And what we can see here is they only have two cities, but they are now building a colonizer. Or do they? Uh, yeah, there is a colonizer. And it found the city here. Lady Vermilion declared war on Preston. I might uh, have to rethink the research pathing, but maybe it is okay. Ah, they got organic sweet now. It's really uh, straightforward. They skipped a lot of stuff. There's a lot of boats coming here and attacking this new city. Let's check this Divine Ascension Noxium Corporation War. It's the only war they have. Yes, it is. Uh, they are ga going to get a better boat now. And the city was lost. What's that? Here's some units. Preston declared war on Hyde. Does it mean they have peace with the... Divine Ascension, yes, it does. Here's some more ships coming down. Uh, apparently they are interested in this city, Heckel. It's on their continent. Or maybe the... <laughs> They'd like to take Hastings too, but maybe the Divine Ascension is faster. Or maybe they lose their ship before they can take it. But it looks like the Divine Ascension isn't at war with the Imperium. So I think the turn where everyone was wiped out uh, was 10 turns ago. But this time mm, it is not the case that everyone was wiped out. Oh, they lost this city. I uh, and I missed it. Too bad. And the Messari have been destroyed. Now they have made peace. Uh, they got a new city over here. Uh, most of the stuff is handled by their capital now. Uh, I mean, they don't have anything else but their capital. Uh, 
Okay, they got a third city. I mean, they have something, but it's not very useful. Are they still at war? Nope. And now they are at war with They might want to retake the city, but uh, there now is a very strong ship inside, so it doesn't look like this will be successful. Uh, but on the other hand, there's ships from the Divine Ascension. And there comes another ship from the Divine Ascension and it is a little bit stronger. How is research going? Uh, they soon will have black hole generator. And the city is lost. Maybe they can capture the city here now. This would be a success for them. And Hyde got it. Very, very opportunistic. They are now getting a black hole generator, but it's taking really long. Only two cities left. What are they researching now? Xenotronium synapses. Ambassadors are close to science victory in turn 309. So now I think that uh, having them build other stuff than mines in the early game was really caused by the high necessity of uh, suburbs. Okay, now they have the Xenotronium synapses. Meaning they should upgrade what they are building. Doesn't look like they want to... Oh, they are at war. I didn't know that.
the city is more productive because it has this here. And now there's a ship incoming. But they do not attack the city. Wow, this is uh, probably was the last colonizable spot. And they immediately got a black hole generator and a missile control center. They bought it, apparently. But the city isn't even defended yet. And now Orange declared war. And the city probably wasn't defended either. No, it should have been. And here we can see a black hole destroying a city. And we have a science victory for the ambassadors in turn 363, uh, 36, 36, yes, 336. Uh, the Noxium Corporation didn't do that well comparatively. We can have a look at this. Well, that's not really interesting. Economy. Yeah, it's uh, pretty one-sided here. Ambassadors are way ahead of everyone else. Military, uh, they also quite uh, <laughs> uh, quite strong. Research, it slowed down a little around here. Oh, uh, let's have a look at... whoops! No, 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 no. That's not what I intended to do. I want... Continue. For example, their capital. This is their capital. The desert start. It's It looked bad at the beginning, but it apparently isn't that bad. Uh, doing pretty well in research, it seems. 808 research per turn. That's how they manage this. They have quite a few buildings. And now let's see their research tree. The yellow research tree is not that full. They are backtracking here. Let's check the one of the orange. They have quite a few tags more. Yeah, but they don't have everything. So uh, this was a new um, change I just recently made how they should approach technologies that are Che uh, cheaper than one turn to research so they were researching quite um, aggressively and their other city yeah this was their production city with a production note here they have 59 uh, workers and they produce 581 production. That's pretty much. Yeah, that's the capital as we have seen before. What are they building? Ah, they are building fun fungi, fungi now. They must have just recently gotten this 
Let's click through some more cities. Yeah, most of these cities. This city was uh, delivering quite a few minerals. And it also had most buildings. Their cash income also looks good. So I guess you haven't seen cities like this from the AI in uh, before. The one that I picked to observe didn't do that well, but uh, it didn't do that bad either. They had a tough start with all the aliens around. But I think it can be said that the AI does better overall. Yeah. Might still need to improve. I still, I of course, I will continue improving it, but as far as I can tell, it is quite okay. At least comparatively or compared with before. Okay, this was it from this little experiment, and I will keep on improving the AI, and then we will probably redo the experiment with the same save game and see what has changed. Uh, until then, goodbye.